Hello. I have with me my two best friends here today. It's uh, two uh, Gibson ES335s. Um, this one is a 2001 uh, ES335 Dot. Um, has been with me, uh, I don't know, I think it's around 15 years already. And it has been much played, uh, and it's a, just a great guitar. It's it's it sounds great. It's uh, it's uh, very uh, comfortable to play. The neck is is great. I think uh, the neck on this is slightly different than that one. I'm not an expert on necks, but I, it feels like a C C shaped neck, and it's not um, it's not very big. It's uh, rather thin. Um, it has uh, had a, a neck break. I have it in uh, in this kind of uh, stand and uh, I learned the hard way that it's very easy to push it over uh, by accident. It flipped like that and I hit the, the floor and when I looked Boom, it was uh, broken. Maybe you can see it has been repaired professionally, but it's just, uh, maybe you can see a slight thin line here. Very hard to see it, I guess. But uh, it's, uh, it is as good as new. I guess there is some, uh, it has been devalued, I guess, but uh, yeah, I will, I will never sell it. Um. So the story with this guitar is that it uh, had Grover tuners on it and I had recently uh, replaced them with these that came off a Gibson Les Paul uh, just because I liked the looks of these better. I think it suits the guitar more than the metallic uh, Grover tuners. Uh, nothing wrong with the Grovers, they, they are perfectly good machines, but uh, it's, as I said, it's just for the looks. And, um, they, and I even uh, replaced these knobs, that those were uh, black ones. And I found this silver topped uh, knobs that I saw, uh, saw a picture of a guitar like this, with just this uh, configuration looking like that, and I thought it looked awesome, and I just had to... Uh, make it happen for this one. Because this has uh, been sitting in its uh, case uh, for a while, because I got this one. I think it's a year ago now, I found this. Um, and I, uh, I've been weak for this, these finishes, uh, the sunburst finish. Um, and it also has these uh, Gluson type tuners that I like. And this is a 1963 reissue. Um, and this has a bit uh, different character to the sound than, than this, uh, this other one. And um, I really love this guitar. It's, uh, it's so good to play. And the neck is different. As I said, it has, this feels more like a D-shaped uh, neck. It's a bit uh, wider, uh, but it's very comfy for me to play. Um, and this uh, has the saddles on this are nylon, uh, as is also the um, the nut. So um, that will uh, that will give it a different character on the sound, I guess. Uh, so a big part of it. And then um, pickups on these are I had a, I have a note here. It says. MHS humbuckers, they are a PAF style. I don't know what MHS stands for, I probably should have looked that up, but um, if I find it, I'll put it in the description. Um, and it also said that uh, this uh, neck pickup has Alnaco 3 magnets and the uh, Oh, sorry, the neck pickup is here. Uh, it has Alnico uh, 3 magnets and the bridge pickup has Alnico 2 magnets. Um, yeah. Gibson uh, introduced uh, these guitars in 1958 
as part of their series of electric Spanish guitars, the ES. And they've been made famous by guitars like Chuck Berry, Eric Clapton, uh, in, especially in the Scream period, uh, Justin Hayward of Moody Blues, um, Mr. 335, uh, Larry Carlton, of course. Um, you have the guitarist of Grateful Dead, that's Bob Weir. Yeah, on a side note, uh, there is this scene from uh, Back to the Future where Marty McFly uh, plays a guitar looking like this. It's really a 345 he is playing. But the thing uh, is that the scene is supposedly from 1955. Uh, and Gibson introduced this in 1958, so... Well, I think uh, it's time to, to play them a little. And uh, I, was, uh, I got a call from a friend that would pop over to help me uh, play, so we could play uh, one each to, uh, to jam a little. So hopefully he will um, come knocking. Okay. I think that's it for me, so uh, bye for now. Hey! Hello there! Ah, you look familiar. Have we met? Uh, what a nice guitar. Yeah. That's, that's my guitar. No, that's my guitar. What have you done to it? It looks awesome. Well, just a few minor tweaks. Wow. Really? Yeah. I bet it even plays better now. Well, let's hear it, huh? Yeah, let's hear yeah. it. Yeah.